everybody, my name is Naya and I'm the Black Female Engineer. I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we're talking about my coding bootcamp regrets. Things that looking back I do wish I had done differently when it comes to my attendance at Flatiron School and how I proceeded throughout the 16 weeks, the four months there. And so yeah, let's just get to it. For those who don't know, I attended Flatiron School in June of 2020, so June of 2020 to October of 2020, so pretty much exactly last year. I'll add some links below talking about my coding bootcamp experience and just, you know, other videos related to it, but for sake of not repeating myself, I'll just keep it at that. And really one of the biggest things I regret is how I didn't look up more scholarship opportunities to attend. Coding bootcamp, whether it's Flat Iron School, General Assembly, all of these different boot camps, they cost a lot. They cost a pretty penny. And for me, how much is Flat Iron School? Flat Iron School was, I think, fifteen thousand dollars, either fifteen thousand or eighteen thousand dollars. And so, you know, I don't just have that sitting in my bank. And I had applied to a scholarship provided by Flatiron School. I believe it was about $3,000 worth, which is, I think, why I can't remember if it's $15,000 or $18,000 is the actual full price of the boot camp. But I got that scholarship and I felt pretty good about it. I felt pretty good. I was like, okay, cool. I just saved three k Great. So I didn't really have money regrets in terms of money until about a month or two months ago when I was watching an Instagram live between it's that lady dev and the natural techie I'll link them down below and the natural techie was talking about how she was basically able to get a full ride to attend General Assembly after doing some research and finding scholarships and grants and basically organizations who would pay for her to make the switch to attend a boot camp and so I when I heard that, my mind was blown. My mind was blown. I seriously just, I was like, why did I not do this? Because especially in this day and age, there are organizations and people looking to see more people of color and women in these tech roles. And so they will pay for you to attend. So if you are in these groups, if you aren't in some type of minority group, take some time, some real, real time into seeing if you could get sponsored, if you can get funded, get grants, get scholarships, any which way to attend a boot camp. Because man, I'm over here looking and calculating how much I'm going to need to pay for the next couple of months, not even a couple months, for the next like year to two years to pay off my debt and everything. And of course, I am grateful for everything Flatiron School did for me, but oh my gosh, like $15,000, $15,000 is a lot. So yes, that's basically my biggest regret was not putting more time into seeing what scholarships and grants are out there for people like me. My second boot camp regret is focusing on simply making it another day rather than the whole picture. Boot camp is so fast and so is so much. It's so much information being thrown at you in such a fast rapid rate that my mind couldn't even really think about the whole picture and I was constantly focusing on just surviving till 5 p.m. tomorrow and that was my attitude the entire like 16 weeks and I regret that looking back because it definitely made me miss a lot of things going on around me when I was just so focused on you know this line of code and this assignment and this project now I kind of got lost in it all not really putting an emphasis on my own self-professional development and more just I can't get left behind and all in all, if you know my journey and everything, I was able to secure a job pretty quickly after coding bootcamp, and I'll add links to how I did that and how you can do that too below. However, in terms of state of mind, I don't recommend that for anyone. That type of, I don't even know, like I kind of think of it as like a Hunger Games mentality of, I'm just trying to survive. I can't even think about, you know, this field I'm in. I can't even think about the scenery because I'm just trying to get past this bear in front of me. And so I really regret having that mindset because it led me to 
putting so much stress on myself and really turning away opportunities to learn other things because I was like, oh, it doesn't directly correlate to this specific assignment. And so I'm not even going to waste time on learning about like the cloud or whatever. And so I really regret that because no, we're trying to be well-rounded individuals. We're trying to just really gain knowledge, gain experiences, and just develop professionally and as aspiring and software engineers. And so the way I went about it really didn't help with that mission and so if you're about to attend a boot camp or you are currently in one check yourself a little bit ask yourself if that's what you're doing and if so take some time take an hour or two every day every other day every week to learn something different that doesn't seemingly directly correlate to what you have to learn for boot camp but like it would still help you as a person and i think that'll just help reframe your mind and just help with continuing on this journey my third regret if you knew me from the time of june 2020 to october 2020 you did not you did not know me i lived and breathed flat iron that is all i would let my mind think about that is all I would put time and effort towards that and finding a job afterwards which to me are also related because that's why I'm at Flatiron but yeah you did not hear from me I was I it was a ghost I was gone and I really regret that because again it led to this pressure just weighing on me all the time that the breakdowns the breakdowns I had while attending Flatiron the mental state I was in on the surface, it looked like I had my ish together and I was da 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 and I was getting it. But inside, I, I couldn't sleep, y'all. I could not sleep. I couldn't allow myself to think about anything else, to spend time with family and friends. I, because I was like, if you, you're, it's what I'm trying to get a job. I'm trying to make this career switch and quickly. So this doesn't serve that. So I'll, off with you. And on one hand especially with hustle culture that can be seen as like a good thing something to aspire to but that is not me at all i am not a hustle culture type of person if you knew me in college i definitely was now no not at all i believe in well-roundedness and putting time to the people and things that bring you joy that light the spark within you and that's not always work and learning and exercising sometimes it's simply just being on the couch with your friends watching I don't know the bachelorette or something so I really wish I had understood that then instead of putting that much weight on myself because again it looked from the surface that I had it all together and I was getting it and everything but I was so unhealthy, I was not sleeping, barely eating because I was like, okay, I, I only have 30 minutes for lunch, so let me run and just, you know, get some Chick-fil-A and then eat and then I can sleep at 3 a.m. after doing these five extra hours of work. It was not good. And so if you have this mentality, I'm not gonna tell you what to do and everything, but likely it is going to lead to your demise and in some capacity of just you're going to just crash one day and miss assignments or miss projects or miss deadlines or now you can't look for jobs because you're just so drained and now you don't even like to code you know what i mean like what if you now don't even like to code because it has caused this much stress and angst within you and now you kind of resent it and so that's a huge huge thing i regret about my experience at flatiron was my living and breathing of flat iron. And number four, last but not least, I really regret having this kind of chip on my shoulder. It's kind of embarrassing to even say out loud. I kind of had this chip on my shoulder while at flat iron. Again, kind of with this Hunger Games mentality of fight to the finish, like move out of my way. I will blaze through this and I will succeed and like you can't touch me. Like I really regret that. I was able to check myself on multiple occasions and be like, no, Naya, this, we're, let's all be friends. Let's, everyone here is trying to do the same thing you are. Let's all be friends. Let's help each other out. And that definitely was the mentality. So don't get me wrong. That definitely was the mentality with my campus, at least. In Flatiron, I hear that there are different experiences in different campuses and different boot camps, but mine very much was a love bubble, we like to call it. But there were times in private where I did have this chip on my shoulder of 
the competition of like, no, this person looks to be so much ahead of me. So like, let me make sure to catch up to them rather than saying, no, I want to make sure I want to learn X, Y, and Z because that's my passion. So let me make sure I do what I can to get there. Do you see how these mindsets are different and one can very much be healthier than the other and so I do regret having that chip on my shoulder at times but I'd say I was pretty good at checking myself so that one has like an asterisk whenever I felt myself getting into that mentality of oh like no no to everybody no to like competition competition whenever I found myself in that mentality I was able to check myself and kind of reframe my mind a little bit but I just don't like that I had to even check myself because I was like girl like come on let's let's just learn and get it moving okay and go get your water go get your green tea and everything get your eight hours of rest and do it all again tomorrow and let's keep on keeping on now do I regret going to a coding boot camp i.e. flat iron school I do not I do not regret it at all it truly I think is the best decision I've ever ever made to be completely honest with you i loved my time at Flatiron. i think a, not even i think after talking with some of y'all i realized i was extremely blessed and lucky to have landed in the campus i did and with the teachers and instructors i did i have realized that i was given resources and other students and cohort mates of my campus were given resources that other campuses, even of the same exact school, Flatiron School, just do not have. And so if I was a part of a different campus, a different boot camp, I do believe that this would be a different conversation depending on the campus and boot camp. However, me, I was a part of the Denver campus. It was fantastic, fantastic fantastic and so if anyone from there is watching this thank you so much for the dedication you put into fostering this amazing community because that's really what made it so great was the community of it like I said it was a love bubble and so I don't regret it and away from just it being a positive experience because of the community I mean of course it was rough it was hard it was rough it was so much information and stressful and everything but the community helps a lot um, and having a good community helps a lot with dealing with all of those things but also all of that aside I was able to get an amazing job after my attendance I got my first offer the day of my bootcamp graduation and signed on an offer later that same month. So I graduated October 2nd and I signed on an offer October 29th, something like that, October 29th. And so I am grateful for that. Being able to make such a quick career shift, I had graduated finance in May of 2020 and October of 2020, so what, six? months ish something like that months later now i was an employed software engineer so like i i am very grateful i'm very happy and i hope this was informative i hope if you're thinking about coding boot camp or you're currently in one you think about some of these things as you continue on your journey and just yeah put a little checkpoints in for yourself to make sure your mental state and your well-being is being taken care of and so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe like this video it helps me out so so much but no thank you so much and i'll see you all later bye